Today, I'm switching back to AMD for my daily GPU. That means I'm switching off of NVIDIA and giving AMD another try for the first time after five years years. I'm uninstalling this NVIDIA RTX 5090, and in its place, I will be using the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT. Now, to be fair, the 9070 XT is a really good GPU. I've already done a full review on this particular card. The review is up on the channel if you want to check it out, but in short, it is a good card. But even though it is a good card, it is definitely a noticeable downgrade from the 5090. I mean, I'm losing ray tracing performance. I'm losing half my VRAM. I'm losing raster performance. I mean, at the end of the day, the 5090 is just a much more powerful GPU all the way around. So the obvious question is, why the heck am I doing this? And the obvious answer is, I need views. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. But seriously, no. I've honestly wondered for a very long time now, really, how far has AMD come? Let me explain. So the last time I used AMD as my daily GPU was over five years ago, and I was using the 5700 XT. Now, at 1440p gaming, that card was totally fine. However, I definitely had quite a few driver issues with that card, and that card was honestly not great at all for content creation purposes. And it was so bad that I was trying to stream and my streams would crash or be blurry and I had to put everything on the CPU because I could not, you know, rely on the GPU itself and it just, it really made things complicated. So I found out that NVIDIA made their NVENC encoders for their GPUs and I said, I'm going NVIDIA and I haven't looked back and it's pretty much been that way for the last five years. Now, with all that being said, AMD has come a long way. They now have a dedicated AV1 encoder on their GPUs and that is great for content creation purposes. They're also using AI upscaling now with FSR 4. They, they've just definitely have come a long way all the way around. And so I really want to give AMD another shot because here's the thing about it. I keep seeing the same comment pop up on YouTube where people are saying that tech reviewers always recommend AMD, but none of them actually use AMD. And you know what? That is a very fair point. And that's why I'm trying to break that stigma here with this video. So starting today, I'm switching over to AMD as my my daily driver for the next 30 days. And here's what I'm hoping to accomplish with this. I need the 9070 XT to be able to do all the following things. I need to be able to still record with OBS without having any type of crashes and without losing any of my video quality. I also need to be able to still edit all of my videos in DaVinci Resolve, which is the same editing software I've been using for the last five years. And I need the editing speed to be the same that it is today. And of course, I also need DaVinci Resolve to not crash. And I need to be able to still export those videos or render those videos in DaVinci Resolve using the AV1 encoder on the 9070 XT without any loss in video quality and also it should go without saying I should still be able to play all the same games I'm already playing whether if that's retro games or modern day games or some type of emulation everything that I can do with my 5090 I need to be able to do it on my 9070 XT to really be able to call this a success I've already reviewed the 9070 XT and I treated it the same way that I treated the 5070 Ti 5070 5060 Ti 5080 and 5090 when I did all of those same reviews I put it on the same test bench and I ran it through the same you know list of games and I treated it exactly the same and I gave it its props and I said hey it's a good card I do recommend it the problem is I'm not a productivity YouTuber. That's not what I focus on. So I didn't overly focus on testing all the other aspects with the 9070 XT. Now, I didn't really test all of that with all the other NVIDIA cards either. However, I use an NVIDIA card as my daily driver already, so I already knew that that stuff worked. But honestly, with the 9070 XT, I don't really know how well it's going to perform in OBS or in DaVinci Resolve or whenever I start live streaming. And yes, I am bringing live streams here to the YouTube channel very, very soon, probably sometime within the next 30 days. And we'll start by using the 9070 XT. And so here's what I'm going to do. Anytime in the next 30 days that I have a problem with the 9070 XT, I will stop what I'm doing, turn on the camera and say, today at this time I was doing this activity and I had this problem. And I will let you know in real time what's going on. However, if I don't have any of those problems, then at the end of 30 days, I'll be able to say, hey, Super easy, straightforward video. This card crushed it. It did everything I needed it to do with absolutely zero issues, zero compromises. And I'm hoping I can honestly say that because AMD right now obviously has a really good reputation for being a good alternative to NVIDIA when it comes to gaming. However, 
every time you recommend an AMD GPU on Reddit, a Facebook group, or even here on YouTube, inevitably somebody comes along, yeah, but you know, I really need the CUDA support from Nvidia, or I really need this or that from Nvidia. And so, yeah, I genuinely wanna know, is the 9070 XT a legitimate viable alternative to Nvidia cards for both gamers and content creators. I, I legitimately want to know this and there's only one way to find out. So I'm going to test it myself and let you know. And if you're interested in finding out the results of that, or if you're interested in checking out the upcoming live streams, get subscribed, turn on notifications because YouTube absolutely refuses to push my videos these days to anybody. Uh, my impressions are lower than they've ever been. So I know you're not even seeing the videos pop up. So hopefully this one popped up for you. And anyway, let me know in the comment section down below, is there anything specifically you want me to test that I didn't list in this video? Because I don't wanna get to the end of this experiment and find out that, oh, I really wish you would have tested that or you should have tested this because I always get those comments. So let me know now specifically what you want to see tested. And if I have the ability to do it, then I will definitely do it. Anyway, that's all I got for the video. Thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, E-Rock out.